25's unhinged treason accusation against Obama. Um, tre treason, that's what 45 accused Barack Obama of committing in an interview with, uh, with the Christian Broadcasting Network Monday night. I don't even know why the fuck um, 45 is um, on a Christian network when he's not even a fucking religious person. He doesn't even go to church. But 45's daily diatribes, it's easy to shrug this off as just the latest insult, but no American squatter has ever publicly accused a predecessor of treason. And technically, 45 didn't even commit treason. I mean, 45 committed treason, but Obama never did. But he's accusing Obama of treason. Um, it is a serious, specific charge that often carries with it the penalty of death, and while 45 and his team used the word promiscuously, they also seem to fundamentally misunderstand the meaning of treason. Team 45 seems to think treason is about personal disloyalty. That's fitting for a squatter who sees everything through the lens of self-interest. But the charge of treason is actually about betrayal of the national interest in pursuit of self-interest. And that's a definition that may hit closer to home in the in 45 administration. The dictionary definition of treason is the offense of acting to overthrow one's government or to harm or kill its sovereign. So, sovereign. The U.S. Constitution defines it even more narrowly. Treason against the United States shall consist only in levying war against them or in adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort, which is what 45 is known to do. Uh, beyond unhinged partisan attacks, the target of the 45's team, cries of treason, are members of their own administration who have run afoul of the squatters' wishes or even worse, decided to tell the truth about what they saw in the room where it happened. So Secretary of State Mike Pompeo slammed former National Security Advisor John Bolton as a traitor for the massively unflattering, unflattering revelations in his book which is backed up by contemporaneous notes. Perhaps trying to distract from the account that Pompeo passed a note to Bolton describing the squatter as, as, um, as full of shit, because 45 is. 45 called former Attorney General Jeff Sessions a traitor after he appropriately reaccused himself in the Russian investigation, and Robert Mueller was appointed a special counsel. While ignorance is, um, while ignorance is often used as a defense for 45, He's shown a clear understanding of the traditional punishment for traitors getting caught railing against the whistleblower complaint, unleashed um, unleashed his impeachment, saying, I want to know who's the person who gave the whistleblower the information, because that's close to being a spy, which it really isn't. You know what we used to do in the old days when we were smart with spies and treason, right? We used to handle it a little differently than we do now. That's a clear reference to execution. If that sounds like an overstatement, listen to what the former chief speech writer for Secretary of Defense, James Mattis, which is Guy Snodgrass, told, Biden, um, told Brian Stel um, Stelter on reliable sources. He heard 45 go on a 10-minute tirade against the Washington Post reported that 45 said um, that, that and the article said that 45 should be thrown in jail, which technically should be, and ultimately you, and said, you know, in the good old days, if you had a traitor, you know what you would do? You would just line them up in the street and have them shot. That kind of language, Snodgrass concluded, with severe understatement. It's not something you want to hear your squatter in chief saying about freedom of the press, about members of the press who are seeking to inform the American public. Defending 45 in light of this persistent pattern of calling his opponents traitors or is, compl is, complicity. is complicity. Only in a cult of personality does someone ignore the obvious to defend, to defend the indefensible. Of course, for people in this administration, proving their unquestioning loyalty is the best and only job protection. Bearing, bearing, um, bearing being a member of the cult of the 45 cult family itself, but there's an obvious irony. There's an obvious irony in 45's attempts to label critics traitors. His core political playbook is to deny, deflect, project, and divide. And so, when he reflexively releases, when he reflexively reaches for an attack on others, it reveals his own anxieties. Because 45 can be a can be incredibly accused of our enemies' aid, aid and comfort, because that's what he's given them. 45 strenuously avoids criticizing Russian, um, Russian President Vladimir Putin, who he's in bed with, despite his long list of insults to American democracy and attempts to undercut the international system America helps build. 45, of course, expected to benefit from Russia interference in our elections on his behalf. Um, he subsequently invited foreign interference in the 2020 election by withholding military aid for Ukraine until they announced an investigation into Joe Biden's family. And according to Bolton's book, 45 begged Chinese President Xi to help him win re-election while personally approving of the construction of the concentration camps. 45 has denied Bolton's account and called him a liar, which Bolton was actually telling the truth on that part. Though his over, even though this response should be viewed with skepticism because of 45's record of lying, especially when confronted with un uncomfortable facts. Um, Bolton attests that 45 agreed to interfere in the investigation into a Turkish bank and undercut attempts to uh, impose um, crippling sanctions on Chinese telecom company ZTE, which had violated sanctions against Iran. And of course, he chose to shrug off the Saudi-backed Association of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi. 
noted these accusations are in America's interest, but they can only be explained that 45 believes they benefit his self interest, political or otherwise. So let's be clear about the definition of treason and traitor. It has nothing to do with personal loyalty to 45, but it has everything to do with loyalty to the transcendent interest of the United States of America. Ignoring that basic difference for job security or partisan purposes is, defi is defining deviancy, download, degrading our democracy, which is 45 does on every day.